This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Oh, Sierra. What Ominous. a surprise. Sierra. It continues Ooh. to be Sierra. It's well, like a bronze color. What else are we going to do with our Saturdays? Well, yeah. The Sierra Saturdays for a reason. Uh-oh! Uh, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Yeah! <laughs> Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist! Yeehaw! <laughs> All right, this is the kind of energy that we really want. Um, so, uh, we went through the list of one-shots that sort of remain that we haven't done before, and we kind of realized that we're running out of games that aren't in, like, long series. So we may s we run out of palette cleansers very soon, unless we start, like, interspersing these with, like, you know, VGA remakes. And stuff like that. So, yeah. but this time we decided it was time to for us to play uh, Freddy Farkas Frontier Pharmacist. M uh, Matt, do you uh, do you know the the tune here? I don't. Also, it won't it won't match up. But by the way, best little crack shot West had ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> By the time he reached the basins, he could outshoot all the air lessons west of Drago, north of Family. <laughs> Are you kind of there? Reasonably close. <laughs> Farkas, Freddy Farkas, famous gunslinging deputy. <laughs> I'll do my best to sync this up with the music. You're not going to work. <laughs> Just auto-tune the fuck out of him. <laughs> oh, like yes. Frontier, Frontier hero to be. Just put him through the same process <laughs> oh, well, that be uh, the Owl course. City uses. <laughs> then one day, young Freddy Farkas stared in the eyes black and dark from that. Well, I can't do that. Eyes uh, of an outlaw, well known through the West. No, it's fine. We're, we're going to use oh. the same process that Owl City <laughs> uses to sound like a scoop of vanilla ice cream. You'll be fine. <laughs> Shot Freddy's ear off to prove who was the best. Now our hero, Freddy Farkas, with his wounded pride and earless carcass, vowed to the heavens to give up gunnery. Gunnery. He'd be better off, he reckoned, with a lifelong dream he always beckoned. Pistols, not pistols, and pharmacology. <laughs> Farkas... Freddy Farkas. Freddy Farkas. <laughs> Highest score on his SAT. <laughs> Freddy Farkas. Freddy Farkas. Five year college degree. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. I tell you. Oh, well, this is. You're not finished. Good. After Fred retic reticulated, got his PhD in. Yeah, he moved out to Coarse Gold. As you do. pharmacy. Now he's a real prescription writer. They don't know if he's an ex-gunfighter. Locked up his memories, repressed them. Totally. Uh -huh. But his peaceful new survival soon was shot to hell upon arrival. Of Coarse Gold's school marm, the sweet Penelope. She had captured Fred's affection, but he's scared he'll get a huge <coughs> rejection. Can't bear to tell her what he used to be. Farkas. Exposition Farkas. song. <laughs> Frontier pharmacist bourgeoisie. Freddy Farkas. Freddy Farkas. Peerless. Earless. And free. Uh, now buy some shaving cream. Buy some shaving cream. <laughs> <laughs> I will provide that uh, audio clip to anybody that wants to auto tune it up with the actual song. Oh but, God, uh, no! Don't. It's on. It's not. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> what you should do is what is, a waste of time. Uh, <laughs> both, uh, both auto tune both what Matt is saying and our lines when we're talking over it. 
<laughs> just, <laughs> just mash that all into the cookie cutter mold oh, of the song. Yeah, that'd be quite. All be right, beautiful. are we ready to play? Oh yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Twelve up. Please don't do that to yourself unless you really want to. <laughs> Act one. Living the coarse gold dream. Please no more musicals. Oh, I, I love a good musical. Oh God. Oh. Freddie Farkas, you was asking about Freddie Farkas, the man would say, "Why just hop on over here to old <laughs> Willie's lap and fuck I'll call starting a bit more to the right." Yeah, that's it. Got it right. Sit right there. No, thank Good. you. Now, if I remember this right, it'll be in a few years. My brain's getting a bit rusty. Oh, that's right. It all started when Freddie went out to the pharmacy one day in the spring of 1888. It all started when he prescribed me some methamphetamines. Jesus Lord. Goodness, that's way worse than Quest for Glory 4. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, so, by default, at the very beginning, text is like about 80% speed. I'm just going to pull it all the way down to the bottom. Guy, we might have a couple of texts where, where Matt ends early and <laughs> we have to like... That's better, though. Decide if we want to click through or not, but I think this is the better option. That old team. man's going to have a heart attack and end what early. What a if morbid careful. volume screen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like hangings? Because we got lots of hangings. We got hangings here. All right. so I mean, this game basically, like, if, if there's any one game that does a, a perfect job of really lampooning the uh, Western uh, the Americana, this is kind of it. Um, you know, say what you like about the rest of the sort of Al Lo oeuvre. Um, a lot of this, I think, really comes down to the sort of sensibilities and writing skills of uh, Josh Mandel, who uh, was really the director and, and the writer of a lot of the, the game. So. so lampooning Americana, who better to do it than three Canadians and a New Zealander? There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> we're, the, we're the right ones here for we are. the job. <laughs> In as much as there could be a right one for the job, it uh, it takes me back. One of the uh, uh, I grew up reading like Belgian comics, and only later in life realizing that they were very very racist. And one of my favorites, <laughs> and one of the most racist, was Lucky Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> had a similar sense of humor, and uh, yeah, it's quite sad to learn in my adult life just how racist those comics were because it's it's very it's a lot. I feel like going back and, like, you know, this is, is welcome to Level Zero NPCs, by the way, if this is the first uh, series that you're watching. Um, this is kind of our thing. We spend a lot of time on individual single screens talking about things that are not necessarily 100% related to the game. Yeah, if you're looking for a straight up playthrough. You, you came to the wrong game. place, partner. We, those, well, are, those are on the web. They exist. This, this isn't it. We ain't it. <laughs> What's rough is when we play the really obscure ones. It's like sometimes we are the only playthrough, and sometimes we're, we're still are, not doing that... it very. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're still not doing it very professionally. <laughs> all right, um, I'll, I'll try to read all the whatever you got going up there. You just let me know. It's all good. It's all good. Well, what I was going to say is like revisiting Leadership Larry and uh, Freddie mm -hmm. Farkas and stuff like that in the 2020s. Um, I think that we're going to possibly be appalled at what uh, what transpires before us but here we oh, go so there, there actually may be a lucky luke amount of racism here quite possibly quite possibly 1993 Although, you know, era so yeah yeah this is 1993 yeah, yeah. um and it's also like you know um Al low and sense of humor kind of stuff and so. also everybody knows there was no racism in the 90s absolutely i was there, <laughs> I was there. that's certainly what they'd like you to I, believe i remember so. Uh, no, and, and, you know, uh, yeah, also nobody's more racist than the Belgians. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so consider that the first of possibly a few sort of disclaimers also about this game. Yeah. Like, it is a product of its time, it's a product of the people who created it. Um, in a weird way, Level Zero is, this, is a, like an archival kind of show yeah so we're gonna play the whole way through it we're gonna you know take it as we're gonna embrace it art from its time there, and if there, there's a if, if there's a bit that makes us real sad we might just edit it out yeah we've done yeah, that depending. before we've done that before. This, yeah this isn't like this isn't like that scene in phantasmagoria for that's example. it yeah yeah everybody knows that scene all right yeah, yeah let's yeah. do yeah so there moving on that's it let's go mom's cafe must have good food it's where all the stagecoaches stop 
You always assume the Golden Ball Saloon must have once been a pawn shop. <laughs> You're surprised to see Billy, the town handyman, boarding up the Dirty Sheet Hotel. Gross. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh. Dirty Sheet. <laughs> I love it. Billy, the town handyman of Jack of all trades, is boarding up yet another coarse gold business, the Dirty Sheets Hotel. The finest hostelry in all of eastern Madera County. Good chance for Matt to use his cowboy voice a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so maybe it was get... the only best after only other hotel should, but in its day, the Dirty Sheet was really something. And I'll tell you, guys, I, it's just because... Oh, sorry. Say, Billy, when did the old Dirty Sheet fold? <laughs> uh... Oh, good morning, Mr. Farkas. Just yesterday. It was a surprise to me, too. Nobody told me nothing about it until they gave me these boards. See, it's it's better this way than me rushing through. Sorry, guys. If I interrupt your little comments, your little comments. Your little comments. <laughs> the little fun people. little contributions to the show. The little people. <laughs> it's only because I'm nervous. Designed now by you know. Alan. It's you know that it's and yeah. I, they've, they've come up into the nineties. You can see the tree, the trees animated, and uh, it, this it's... is actually quite nice. Mm. I, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is at the very far end of like all pixel, not like hand drawn style. Yeah, um, BGA. It's very charmingly rendered. It is. Yeah. This sign says Chesterfield's Mercantile Company. It may indicate there's a store inside this building. <laughs> Possibly. This sign proclaims this as the post office. And it's just a private residence. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be an office. The sign oh, says yeah, O'Hanahan's oh, yeah. Barbershop. Look at that pole. Be interesting to like buy a house and make it look like a post office just to be constantly annoyed by the people trying to mail things oh, there. Oh, you need like a stone floor, <laughs> but, and, like... but technically, your title would be correct because because yeah, no, it used to be an office, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, post office, yeah. There you go, S someone with a burn. higher IQ than most of the folks in town, correctly painted sheriff here. The sign says, Tall and Thin Shop. And hey, it's right. Oh, that's just about the tallest and thinnest shop you've ever seen. I'm wondering how long it's going to take you to go full Louisiana. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The sign says, Peepee's Playhouse. I'm going to do my best not to, but you never know. <laughs> it's so or easy to slip away. under. Now it looks more like Peepee's Playhouse. <laughs> Play <-house. laughs> yeah. Ah, the sign says, Farkas Pharmacy. This must be the place. It's Dominic, one of your part-time Native American employees. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he works under the professional name Running Gag. Now, here's another <laughs> little disclaimer here. Um, the union told you that you had to have a cigar store uh, style Indian out front when you opened the pharmacy, but there were a lot of out-of-work real Indians in the neighborhood, and you decided it was more politically correct to hire some real ones. <laughs> now, now, here we go. The reason the reason everybody else isn't laughing and I am is that they're white, <laughs> and I am actually one of them Indians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm just horrible. So there you go. Well, yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. You guys, you guys are loud. It's fine. I'll I'll do my best. I'll do my best with this. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting that the game chose to, like, acknowledge the racist bit. Morning, Dominic. Morning, Freddy. What's new? Let's see, I finished reading uh, Century of Dishonor last night. Quite impressive. That Helen Hunt Jackson really knows how to evoke an image of white man's treachery. Do you know how many treaties your people have signed and then broken in the last 20 years alone? <laughs> <laughs> wow, skate. Uh, excuse me, I think I hear someone calling me or something. <laughs> I like that they made him delightfully self-aware. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome. Early nineties. Actually, so 
Yeah, aside from like the the art of it, um, I, I think they actually do an okay job with yeah. some of these. Uh, this is this is this things. is early nineties. This is when we were just sort of discovering. Oh, you know what? We should probably acknowledge these things, but we didn't quite have all the. You know, or we still had there were still layers of um, you know, old school. I told I told you there was no racism in the nineties. It was well-meaning, but it was like it still it still had the 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 layers of um you know old school style. Ta-da! You're halfway through the game. I love that. Yeah, they give you five hundred uh, puzzle points for, for opening the front door. That's great. They really, I think they like th- this game is very self-aware among the rest of Sierra's games. Honestly, like they like the puzzle points really are meaningless. So let's just let's just be complete dicks about it. I love it. It's great. Welcome to our place of business. Oh, Freddy's wow. Farkas Pharmacy. I Beautiful. like this place. We're going to do our usual thing of uh, looking around and enjoying some of the flavor text. So uh, buckle in. Uh, <laughs> but I think uh, we're about at our 15 minute mark. Do we want to try to uh, like. Let's push it to 20. Let's push push to twenty. All right, let's we're, we'll read a few of these. So see how we feel. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's the president's wife. She's the head of the "Just Say No to Ether" campaign. <laughs> 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 On top of this cabinet, you have a stunningly arranged display of Old Snuffy's Limp Rude Hair Oil Cream in the eight ounce, sixteen ounce, giant sixty four ounce baby Huey jars as well as a few dusty boxes of Rustler's Stove chocolates. Rustler's Stove, the standard of drugstore chocolates for over half a century. On the upper shelf of the right display case, you keep some of your hot sellers. Prospector's Pride (laughs) Uranium Hair Highlighter. Her Majesty's Second Favorite Real Cream Toffee Lumps. Where'd you get those rosy cheeks, face pinchers? Chap spit mucus membrane astringent balm. Old crater faces arsenic complexion tablets. <laughs> and smather and smather, scrape me off the ceiling, Lord Jalapeno Arthritis Rub. <laughs> so I guess the the kind of inspiration for this game is uh, your like Wild West medicine show snake oil salesman. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, except if you set up shop in town and we're selling bogus remedies full time. Mm-hmm. Well, like you you definitely stock all these things, um, but part of the. Uh, uh the copy protection from the game and this is something that we'll see very soon probably in the next episode is um like the first chapter of the game is all copy protection and the idea is they give you the manual for the game is this tome of pharmaceutical recipes fake ones obviously but for like you know um phenadol oxytrig like uh, triglycorate or psyllium or quicksilver or phenol sulfophalathene. Oh, that's cool. And shit like that. Potassium nitrate. Um, and so what's going to happen <laughs> after we uh, get through doing our little thing here um, is I'm going to go behind the counter and I'm going to be filling prescriptions. <laughs> And people are going to give me a prescription from the town doctor and I'm going to go into the back room and I'm going to have to make medicine in my little medicine uh crafting zone that's pretty cool it is cool actually i kind of like it like i know it it, you know intuitively that this is copy protection but it's actually very well done and it it, there's a whole game bit to it and like you can kind of go forward with it but if you obviously mix the wrong thing and give that to the customer then you know real consequences (laughs) so all right. All right, moving on, moving on. On the lower shelf of the right display case, you keep some old, reliable, steady sellers. Doc Malarkey's Instant Redneck Tannin Fluid. Flemby Gone Extra Strength Expectorant. Oil of Old Ladies Demoisturizer. 
flaky peats, psoriasis, and dandruff declumping unguent. Cut love an unguent. <laughs> I can't believe it's a jock strap. Testicular support undergarment. It lifts and separates. <sighs> right. Detains all saltpeter crystals and Rabbi Johnson's home bris in a box. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Here on top of your reduced table, Madame Gazonga's perfume no. Springtime fresh scent. Aunt Lily's Twilight Essence Shampoo. It's pronounced shampoo. French Woman's Brand Breath Detoxifier. <laughs> Pink Amenable Depilatory. It's a Hollywood Land Ruminant Suppressant. Hollywood stores don't chew their cuds. Why should you? <laughs> the new Epishape Easy Shear. And Preparation G. Though you don't always have that on hand. On the upper shelf of the left-hand cabinet, you find Pearls of Pauline Anti-Prune Finger Bathing Gel. My Little Cleft Palate Mouth Repair, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dr. Limbaugh's Chuckle a Day Cannabis Extract. Cremation Non-Dairy Coffee Ash. I wonder if that's a reference to Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> I might be, yeah. Peaches and Cream Brand Cream Peaches. And Chinaman's Choice Real or Intel Curative Straight Pins. We're trying our best, guys. We're doing our best. <laughs> we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to make it through. On the bottom shelf of the left-hand cabinet are... Red Eye Brand Deep Cleansing Chlorine Abrasive Facial Scrub. Whoopsie Daisy Fashion Air Adult and Continence Pads. Continence Pads. I said it right. Slick and Pretty Linseed Oil Shampoo. Luck of the Irish under our oatmeal box. And I can't believe it's not opium. Hallucinogen and st hallucinogen <laughs> stick. Jesus. 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 It's a tube of Preparation G. The Wells Fargo wagon driver's friend for over half a decade. Let's grab that. You pick up a tube of the Preparation G in the handy 25 ounce crabby elephant size. Got a handful more uh, shelves to go, so let's keep it up. Let's go! <laughs> the top shelf is where you keep all the newest, most scientifically advanced medications safe from shoplifters. Ah, uh, yeah. Dr. Winterhalter's Magnetic Effluvium Tonic. Professor Munson's Deep Wound Iodine Salt Bomb. A little goes a long way. And Chaz Esquire, Burke Squire, PhD, Zephyrvescent Enema Granules. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Here on the second shelf, close at hand, is where you keep the most expensive medicines out of reach of the customers. Doc Halifax's Platinum Eczema Tonic. Eczema. Eczema. Montgomery's Digestive Granulated Plutonium. <laughs> Dentist choice, do-it-yourself, silver amalgam fillings, hand drill included. And California Cowboy Aluminum Snuff. The California Cowboy Aluminum Snuff is actually made in New York City. New, New York, York City? City? <laughs> <laughs> well, why was Snorting this? Because right around the era that that advertising campaign was going around. <laughs> what was the advert? It was the, it was the uh, Pace Salsa, right? Pace picante Pace salsa. Picante. That's right. Oh, uh, they call it Pace I, picante sauce. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I and have the Pace no picante idea. salsa. No idea. Made in Texas, because yeah, it's like these. This salsa is made in New York City, and then, like, you know, uh, everybody was looking at the campfire. Go. Got it. New York City. New York. York. And the guy gets like, yep, lynched. Yeah, basically. They did, yeah, they see. shoot him. Yeah, this I picture see, see. closely approximate the pharmacy where you work. Up on the top shelf here, you keep your overstock. G's Bro and Palms Athlete Foot Solvent. Apex Ear Hair Wax. Dr. Lecter's Open Wound Bracer and Hangnail Meltaway Compound. Impurina Slug Chow. Mm, Investors slug Guaranteed Pumice Acne Treatment. Pumice. Pumice. 
On the middle shelf, you store discontinued items. Grecian Horse Formula 99. Who says the old gray mare has to be gray? Lavor He's Limburger Sachet. Sachet sulfuric foam and mouthwash. I'm gonna. I, I'm doing my best. A taste of the Southwest mouth tingling like a toothpaste. Maybe I think they were written to be read in this voice. <laughs> but yeah. Butler and Butler's no more tears. Infected toenail rinse. Yes. There you go. There you go. I'm glad we didn't miss that one. On the lowermost shelf of this case, you keep slightly scratched, dented, or previously used items. Worthington's emulsified balsamic emollient demucilant. Mm mm. Silver gullet corrosive phlegm wash. Yay. Fud Rucker's therapeutic sucking chest wound patch. <laughs> and the screaming cowboys, oh my lord, I done shot my damn foot <laughs> off specific ointment. Very specific. <laughs> <laughs> when then, you need it, you need it though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The items on the top shelf are the ones two weeks past their expiration dates. A bottle of liquid podiatrist. <laughs> Several tubes of Mademoiselle Lulu's leprosy cover stick. A jar of Captain Jack's chan ch chankers away. Chankers away. Chankers away. Chankers away. And a tin of hired brand Probably can't go illicit and more attracted. I'm doing my best. I'm going to say that That's a lot. That's good. The items on the second shelf are about a month past their saleable shelf life. Runyon Brothers Healthful Suet Gum. Indiana brand industrial chewable suppositories. Mm. <laughs> For people with teeth in their assholes. And a box of Lumpkin and Sons Bile Be Fresh Liver Deodorizer Lozenges. Wow. Beautiful. The items on the third shelf are three to four months past their usable shelf life. Lady of Scotland's Haggis Queen Conception Preventers. Old World Belladonna Derivative Blood Rejuvenatory. <laughs> Little Miss Perfect Figures Daily Purge Syrup. Oh, purge syrup. I don't like that. <laughs> and Uncle Al's A-OK -okay Bowel Resection in a Jar. Jesus. Man, that's a, this is a lot of work. Get Last one. The bottom shelf holds the items that are a year or more past their shelves' lives or have been found to be poisonous and <laughs> or illegal. Here we go. Or have uh, inexplicably reproduced on their own. Albright's Amazing Cataract Thickener. <laughs> Professor Oppenheimer's Clots No More. Haley's uh-oh morning after entry uterine scrub in five flavors. If it tastes good, maybe she'll brush longer. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Father O'Flaherty's certified heroin pepper upper. And a pouch of Chief Waldo's authentic native delight smoking herbs. <laughs> All right. Everyone... The standing ovation for Matt for getting yeah, all the way through well that. Well done, Matt. Well done. Well done. Oh, thank you. Very I, well done. I, I was I was actually commenting on the fact that there there was a lot of work to come up with all those product names. It must have been. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh absolutely. yeah. I just had to read them. Well, though at the same time, I think the fact that they decided to make this game is indicative that they just loved stupid cowboy medicine. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. true. Yep. Oh yeah, yep. absolutely. Agreed. That wouldn't have been work for them at this point. No, that's, that's why the true. intro song was so long, too. Yeah, no, they're just, they're just into this. And you can tell. They love this. Uh, well, look all right, at, then, everybody. On the, on the manual, they, were all, they went to some Western-themed thing for their photo. Oh, yeah, look yeah. The, look at the back of the manual. Yeah, now now Luke has to put the back of the manual up so everyone can see. Thanks, Sorry, Luke. Luke. Yep. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> He's, he's happen. Yeah, this was the this was the sort of game that was pitched, right? This wasn't like somebody like, well, we have to make a game, you know? Let's figure out what the game should be. We've got a massive like, gap in the idea. western. Yeah, this really does seem like something that they've had in their minds for several years, and then yeah. got, yeah. got to pull the trigger. I mean, well, this will have been this will come up right after uh, they finished Larry Six, right? Uh, and before Leisure Suit Larry 7, or maybe early in development of Leisure Suit Larry, when they were redoing the engine to support, you know, higher resolution and the sort of hand-painted 
um, art. Well, hand-drawn and then pixelated, but um, I'm guessing it was like, hey, let's take a short break from doing Leisure Suit Larry games. Let's do, you know, a weird, still Allo styled um, Western game. Mm-hmm. It's and a good like, idea. Well, what are you going to do with a Western? Well, you know how the you know old West medicine was absolutely horrifying in retrospect, <laughs> like you know yeah. eating tapeworms and you know taking plutonium for hair you know treatments and shit like that. So yeah, it would be fun to have to to, to have a game about like a, a an old West surgeon with just all the horrific surgery rendered in this charming style. <laughs> This could have been an interesting series of games if they had continued with it, but... Yeah. I mean, it has a, a conclusion, and it didn't need to go any further than it did, but... Anyway. Yeah, when when uh, the when the idea hat went around for, you know, what the next game was be, it was like, Did, didn't somebody have a game about an Old West doctor? <laughs> it's like, it's pharmacist, and yes. And it's for the <laughs> for the focus. That's great. All right. Uh, thanks yeah. everybody. So, uh, yeah, we're out of time for this episode. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, to recap, for those of you who are watching in real time, uh, the uh, vote closed shortly before we did this episode. Of obviously, people uh, are expecting, and our regular viewers already know the answer to this. But uh, after Freddie Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist, we will be starting up the uh, Laura Bow Mystery series nice. of games. So do stay tuned for that. Uh, in the meantime, we will be playing this game beginning to end. Uh, and then uh, we'll be doing uh, that game. And quite possibly, we'll also have a special uh, guest for that series as well. So You never know. I look forward to that. At least, for, to that. at least for some episodes. You never know. You yeah, know, you yeah. never know. Yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out. You know, brand, brand new palate cleanser after uh, Quest for Glory. Uh, feels good feels to be good. doing something different. It does. And I'm sure Farkas has some sort of nightmare expectorant on this shelf that we can use to cleanse our palates with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Precisely. All right, join us next time, which shouldn't be that long, no matter what. No. Today. Yeah. I mean, in the grand um, scheme of things. Unless something really weird happens to stop us, yet somehow Luke still puts the episode out. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That is, that, yeah. Something could transpire between now and when I edit this video. You never know. Mm. You yeah. never know. You never know. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye, Stick everybody. And Stick and stay. Now, before we jump in, I'm going to have to bail because it's almost three. I have to go at three. Okay. Sorry, Let's guys. Leave that in, Thanks. though. Let's leave oh, cool. In. Let's leave that <laughs> yeah. in. Why not? <laughs> let's 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 leave Lou's <laughs> shitty excuses in as just a start. <laughs> no, I've got a Luke. client who's jumped me, and he needs the stuff to. Uh, I need to upload it to him and get it finished. Lou, Lou warned I'm us sorry. at the start of recording, and we still fucked around for a while before starting. So yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care, and um, yes, don't Special. don't don't forget to send your audio. Oh, no, I will. Yes, I'll definitely do please. that. Don't worry, guys. Don't forget to upload your audio. Yep. All right, guys. Take care. Later. This is the worst channel in, in terms of, like, just completely breaking fourth wall. But here we are. Hello.